if it just destroys the video by moving too fast or too rigid. Alright, let's see. That wasn't too bad, it was subtle, I mean, it showed more, showed that it, you know, put some more power onto it. Let's change this up, change this up to 0.50. So. put it at the wrong spot. You want to move this So now we got this. That looks a little rough only because of that little that pictures there. So let's ease out of that. See how that turns out. I think I'm one, what I'm going to do with the picture is actually get rid of it. Um, sorry about this, you know, I'm a difficult person to um, follow, but uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna bring this video and back in, and I'm going to time freeze frame at the very end instead of taking a picture you know I just realized that would probably be a lot easier for everyone I'm sorry for the difficulties I'm gonna scale it up now there you go now it's everything's back to normal so. Oh, freeze framed it at the wrong time. Let's bring this all the way down. Better yet, let's just delete. No, not that. I want to get rid of the uh, freeze frame. Oh, redo. All right. I'm going to drag this up. There it goes. Alright. Now I'm going to drag this over so I can freeze frame it right here, right where he's gone. Time, freeze frame. There we go. Now we can move it back out and nothing will be there. There you go. Probably still have that rough transition, but at least it won't be as bad. And now we can um, apply the final shake movement for the ending. Find where it starts. All right, let's go back into here. Let's command C B. Uh, so it eases out of it, and then we'll keyframe it again right here. See how this part looks right here? Look pretty good right there. I look pretty good. I don't look too bad. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, actually, we're probably, uh, let's see. Let's see what this says on the effect right here. 150, and this is 150. Um, we're going to turn this down to, we're going to come right here, turn this down to 1. And then, um, put that right there, let's see how this turns out, because apparently it just kills it when you have it too close like that. So it shook like that. We don't want that. Never mind. We'll get rid of that. We'll come up to this one right here and turn this one up to 2. Oh, not 20. Just 2. And um, about right here, we'll get rid of the shake by turning it down to 1. I'll not get rid of it, but you know, lower it. Alright, so let's see how that looks right there. Comes in. Alright. Shaking way too much when it hits this part. We'll keep it at, I think we'll just get rid of that keyframe. Oh, it's pretty good. All right, so you got that whole transition and everything going in for it. All right, um, you know what? Actually, I guess I will apply some coloring to it. We'll go to layer, new adjustment layer. We'll just apply some random coloring, see how it turns out. We'll go to color correction, tint. Turn it down to about um, 45, I guess, yeah. Um, color correction curves we'll darken a little bit come up to red we'll turn that up a little bit go to blue turn that down a tad bit come up to green let's go back to red let's turn red down a little bit Go back to blue, turn blue down, just, we'll get rid of blue actually. That's not too bad of coloring. Gives you a feel for the video. Alright. So, we got the, um, so now let's look at this, uh, video finished, fully finished. Alright. Bam. Here it goes. Alright, he's running up. Boom, disappears, comes back. There he is. He's out of the screen now. Now you got your own, very own jumper effect of mine. Um, uh, you know, mess with it, use it in your videos. It's your video, my effect, one other. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, videos and everything. Um, check out some of the other tutorials um, uh, and look at uh, some upcoming preview videos of new tutorials coming soon um, and download some free projects if you feel like it. Um, well, that's it for me. Um, see you later.